Hi there, in this video I'm going to be showing you three of my best pre-loved buys in my collection. When it comes to buying pre-loved I'm certainly no snob because I think it's considerate to both the environment and your bank account. So without further ado let's get straight into it. Okay so the first item that I'm going to be showing you is my much coveted Mulberry Seaton bag. This is in the small size. Now, I first discovered this bag in this particular colourway, which is the dark blush, when I saw it on one of the bloggers that I follow. And at the time, I could not for the life of me find it anywhere. I checked in stores, I checked online, and I also checked outlets such as Cheshire Oaks, and it was just nowhere to be found. But I was so, so determined that I wanted to add this to my collection. Because I assumed this bag was discontinued in this particular colourway and I couldn't find it anywhere, it actually forced my hand to check the pre-loved market to see if I could find it there, which actually ended up turning out very well because I got it for half the retail price on eBay in near mint condition. But actually, after a few months of owning this, they brought it back in the dark blush colour. So this is now available and it's still current season. So what I did was I actually set up an alert on eBay with this particular search term for the Mulberry Seaton and I checked every day to see if anyone was selling this bag. And lo and behold, after about three weeks or so of having the notification up, this bag came on sale and I jumped on it straight away. So I'll just give you a closer look at the bag. I think the size of this bag is perfect. I know it comes in both bigger and smaller sizes and I just love the versatile nude colour of this bag. Another thing that I love about this bag is the beautiful rider's lock that it's got here. And this is the only Mulberry bag that I own, but the quality is really, really lovely. So I definitely consider buying more bags from Mulberry in the future. Also, it's a British brand, so I think it's always great to support homegrown brands where you can. So if you're thinking of buying a bag by Mulberry, I'd definitely recommend the Seaton because I think it's very versatile in that it's got a top handle and it's also got a shoulder strap, which attaches both here and here, which I think is always my preference when it comes to bags because it means that you can wear them for lots more different occasions. You can wear it with a shoulder strap for a more casual occasion or with the top handle for a more formal occasion. I know that this bag has been seen on royalty. I think that um, Kate Middleton has this bag um, in black and yeah, it's just a very beautiful piece. Okay, so the next item that I want to show you are these beautiful lace Jimmy Choo heels, which I got in pretty much new condition with original box and all of the original paraphernalia that they came with. And just like with the Mulberry Seaton, I discovered this design of shoe by Jimmy Choo. However, I couldn't find it anywhere. I think it was discontinued. The only place that I could find it was on Farfetch. However, they didn't have it in my size. So again, I checked the pre-love market and I found these on eBay and they are just perfect. I'm so, so happy with them. What I love about these is they're very classy and elegant looking. Um, they've got a little kitten heel here, which is definitely my preference these days. I don't tend to go for killer heels anymore. Um, and also with the beautiful lace de detailing, it's like this lovely, very detailed lace. And also the black tip on the end, which helps to kind of give a very flattering, leg lengthening look. And the final item in my collection that I want to show you is this beautiful, Patent Leather Alaya Clutch. Now, Alaya is a lesser known brand and their bags are pretty expensive. Um, what they're very well known for are their beautiful laser cut tote bags and also the fact that a lot of their bags don't have um, loud branding. A lot of them have no branding whatsoever. However, the kind of signature design of them means that if you know your designer brands, you would probably be able to recognise an Alaya piece. So what I absolutely love about this clutch bag is one, the beautiful patent leather and this kind of very unique design. Um, if you just open it up, you've got the signature Alaya mirror that their bags all come with, just in there. And this bag holds everything that you, all of the essentials that you need for a night out, including mobile phone, lipstick, um, wallet, car keys, everything. Um, it's just an absolutely stunning piece. For some time, I've been wanting to add a piece of Alaya to my collection, so I was very, very happy to come across this. What's so great about this item, along with the other items that I've just shown you, is the fact that it was in near immaculate condition, and also the fact that it came with its original dust bag and all of the original paraphernalia. So that gives you an insight as to what you can get on the pre-loved market. For me personally, I always try to opt for items that are in either new or near new condition. And also I always try to opt for items that come with their receipt or original dust bag and things like that to help to authenticate the item. 
This is also useful should you ever decide to sell the item in the future. It means that you're likely to get a higher price for it and be able to sell it a lot easier because people want to know what they're getting is genuine. That goes with all items in my collection. I always try to keep hold of the receipt and original dust bags and boxes and things like that. Not only is there the potential to save money when you buy pre-loved, but it's also a lot better for the environment. I think that's something that people are a lot more conscious about these days, which is a great thing. In addition to this, what's also fantastic is the variety. As I mentioned earlier in the video, you can often find items that have been discontinued or that are very hard to get hold of. Paradoxically, some of the items that you get on the pre-love market can actually be more expensive than what they retail for, and that's simply because of scarcity. So for example, you can very often see this with Chanel and Hermes bags that are particularly hard to get your hands on. If you are looking to buy pre-loved items, then one of the best places that you can do this is on Vestiaire Collective. Vestiaire Collective is a fantastic website where you can buy pre-loved items, and what's great about it is the fact that all items that are listed on there have been authenticated by its team of experts, so you know that you're always getting the real deal. Also, for those who are a bit more confident about authenticating items themselves, eBay is a great option, but as I mentioned earlier in the video, I'd always much prefer to get items that come with their original receipt and original box. For me personally, I always much prefer to buy items brand new, one because you have the peace of mind of knowing that the item is authentic and also the fact that you get it in mint condition. That said, I'm definitely not opposed to buying pre-loved items, especially if you can make a great saving or you can buy an item that's been discontinued. So I hope this video has been useful to some of you. Do check out some of my other videos for lots more similar content and thank you for watching.